We painted a Grey Knights army to our lowest level. This Grey Knight army has been painted by Rob from the Warrior Workshop team and it has loads of great models in it. We've got some strike squads, we've got some interceptors, we've got some terminators, paladins, uh, we've got a dread knight, we've got an apothecary, a chaplain and also a librarian. If you're not familiar with Warrior Workshop, it is our lowest level here at Siege and it is a tabletop alternative. It's different in stylistic execution uh, to our other levels, which are more of a box art style. Um, the emphasis more on the airbrush, using that for various different aspects of the painting process, giving you a really consistent, great army for gaming and tournaments. So let's start with the model that undoubtedly you want to see first, which is the Dread Knight. Again, a real centerpiece model of this Grey Knight force. Uh, really well executed. You can see the lovely kind of bluish silver tone which has been executed on the model. Uh, it has got a little bit of conversion work actually involved with it. So we have got Grandmaster Voldus model which has been used here to represent the pilot of the Dread Knight. Um, and it's got a little bit of just amendment work here just to obviously add a kind of like seat belt thing to obviously fix him in which I think is quite cool, that black banding on the waist. Um, but as you can see, Rob's done a great job of painting this miniature. It's really neat, really well executed. We've got a lovely blended uh, sword here that's all been done with the airbrush, which just looks lovely. Uh, really high contrast as well, which is just great. Uh, I love the use of the triad colours, obviously the red, the blue and the yellow gold uh, tones as well, which is just brilliant, uh, but really cleanly executed. Got nice subtle transition down here on that tilt shield. Just with that demon fighting the Grey Knight on there as well, which is great. I love the glowing eyes on Boulders. I think that's a really nice little touch as well, just to show that kind of psychic energy that he's emanating, which is brilliant. If we move around the back as well, you can see obviously all the little bits and bobs are glowing as well. Some really nice glove effects done on there. All the metal work cleanly executed uh, and all the sort of areas of sort of uh, pipe work all done as well, which is just really good. Uh, so that's just this awesome Dread Knight, uh, kind of like a, a Grand Master and Dread Knight conversion, which is just really nice. That's a centerpiece model from the force. So of course, in a Grey Knight army, you're going to have some Terminators and this army does not disappoint. We have a squad of Terminators and also a squad of Paladins. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at the, uh, the Terminators to start off with. Again, really nicely done. Uh, obviously, again, you can see that lovely airbrush blended sword that's been done there as well. You can see every single bit of detail is fully painted on these. Um, we've got really nice natural highlighting done with the airbrush as well, where obviously light is emanating from above. Uh, which is done really well, really clean, cleanly executed. The thing with Warrior is it gives you a really great looking army for your tournaments and for gaming with your friends. Um, if you're looking for sort of a really good entry point, obviously with us here at Siege, then Warrior is definitely the way to go. Uh, but Rob's done a phenomenal job of picking out every single bit of detail on these Grey Knights uh, on these uh, on these Terminators. So carrying on with the Terminators, let's have a look at the Paladins. Really great kit, obviously the Terminator kit. The Paladins having that extra bit of detail on their backpacks just to distinguish them as uh, as um, a Paladin. You can see in this really cool stoic pose advancing with that sword aloft there, that lovely airbrush blended uh, four sword that you can see there. Now one thing about the armor, we've got this really nice bluish subtle hue on it as well, which is just something that's been done as part of the process as per our client's request, but really nicely executed just to add a bit of interest to that silver really help with the tonal variance that is on the armor up to the bright point also uh, but again no expense has been spared on these they've all been painted really cleanly really neatly even got a little bit of personal heraldry there just on the shoulder pad uh, which is great uh, and that's just one of the awesome paladins in this force so to go with the terminators in this force we've got 20 interceptor marines all sectioned out into four squads of five models really great kit that gives you loads of flexibility with weapon loadouts and options uh, obviously our client's gone for lots of interceptors to jump around the board, which is great, but we've got, as I mentioned, four squads of five, and let's have a look at some of them. Uh, so the interceptors are awesome with these teleport backpacks that they've got. You can see this guy's just in a bit of a pointing pose. Um, you can see the four sword there, all that airbrushing that's done on all the swords throughout the force has been consistently done, so they really match each other extremely well. Uh, as you can see, all the little details are all painted on the miniature, which is great. If we move around the back, you can see even on the backpack, all the little sort of gems and bits and bobs are painted as well, which is just great. But these really, really nice uh, Interceptor Marines, uh, just to give a lot of flexibility to our client on the tabletop. So on top of the 20 Interceptor Marines, we've got two five-man strike squads. Uh, very similar again, it's the same kit, but with different options. Uh, and again, our client has chosen to go all with swords across the board for all of these. Uh, strike Marines don't have the teleport backpack, but they do have obviously a standard power pack. You can see again this really awesome pose where this, this uh, Strike Marine is just firing with the gauntlet mounted Storm Bolter whilst bracing with the Force Sword, which I think is lovely. And again, you can really see that bluish, really subtle bluish hue that's on them uh, just to add a little bit of interest to the armor. But Rob's done a phenomenal job of picking out all the little details on the miniature, all the little trinkets and books and things which are done just to a really nice clean finish. 
Uh, so that's just one of the strike marines from the two squads. So last up, let's have a look at the characters in this army. Uh, we've already looked at the uh, master in the Dread Knight, but let's have a look at the, the characters on foot. We've got a librarian, an apothecary, and a really cool converted chaplain model. So let's have a look at the apothecary. Again, a really great model uh, using parts from the flexible Terminator kits. You can see the extra details and things that have been painted on here. Rob's put on a really nice little life reading thing there on that screen, which is quite cool. And you can see his force sword as well is done with that lovely blending work that's all been airbrushed on. Uh, you can see a little bit of personal heraldry on there. And again, every little detail fully painted on these miniatures, which is just really, really nice. So that's the apothecary. Uh, we're then going to have a look at the uh, librarian. Again, just toting a combi melter here. And again, you can see the level of intricacy that this model does have. And even at Warrior Workshop, we still go the extra mile for you and paint a really clean, well-presented miniature, which is what you should expect with us here on the Warrior Workshop side of Siege. Um, again, I do love the use of the brightening effect there on that inquisitional eye and the sword. It really adds interest and focuses the attention on the miniature to that point. And something I do really love is the tabard in that sort of turquoisey teal colour. Just looks really nice and works with the rest of the colours on the miniature quite well. Um, again, you've got a really nice, cleanly executed cloak here at the back also. Uh, so that's just the librarian. And then finally, let's have a look at probably my favourite model from the, uh, from the force other than the Dread Knight. It's this really cool... Uh, converted chaplain. Um, I do like the use of the uh, Primaris uh, bike chaplain head uh, on this. It just works really well on that upper torso of that chaplain from bike. It just gives a really great imposing miniature with that kind of rib cage esque kind of finish on the chest. Uh, you can see all the details and everything fully painted on him. That, that's really ominous white skull helm that he's got. And you can see obviously all the details painted across the miniature cleanly as well and I love this scabbard as well so he's got like a dueling saber or something which is quite cool uh, but that's this awesome converted uh, chaplain on foot in terminator armor to uh, to help lead this force to victory and banish all demons that come in their path I do hope that you've liked this army ever so much. Um, if you're interested in a quote for an army, then please do not hesitate in going to the description of this video where you can find a link to the Siege website. You can fill out all your details and get in touch with us for a quote for your project. Finally, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And let us know in the comments what your favorite model from this army has been. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.